Welcome to Piston Pundit, your ultimate pit stop for everything related to vehicles. Today, we are going to talk about the Honda Ridgeline, the pioneer of the unibody pickup truck movement that is gaining momentum in the market. The Ridgeline is a mid-sized truck that offers a car-like ride and a host of unique features, but it also has some drawbacks that might bother some buyers. Let's take a look at what they are. Number 6. Small cargo bed and poor towing and payload capabilities. The Ridgeline is not a truck for heavy-duty work. It has one of the smallest beds in its class, with only one cab option and limited towing and payload capacities. The bed measures 5 foot 3 or 63.6 inches long, which is only bigger than the compact Maverick and Santa Cruz, and much smaller than its body-on-frame rivals. However, the Ridgeline's bed is not as bad as it seems. It has a clever design that allows it to fit a sheet of 4 by 8 foot building material flat on the bed floor, thanks to its wider upper section and lower wheel wells. It also has a hidden in-bed trunk compartment that adds 7.3 cubic feet of weatherproof storage space. These are features that no other truck can offer. Still, the Ridgeline's bed can only hold 33.9 cubic feet of cargo, which is on the low end of the spectrum. The Ridgeline's towing and payload capacities are also not very impressive. It can haul up to 1,580 pounds of payload, which is decent, but not outstanding. It can tow up to 5,000 pounds, which is less than most of its competitors and even equal to the smaller Santa Cruz. The ride quality also suffers when towing anything heavier than a jet ski or a small trailer. The Ridgeline is clearly not a truck for serious towing or hauling needs. It is more suited for people who want a comfortable and versatile vehicle that can handle some light-duty tasks. The Ridgeline only comes in a crew cab configuration with a single bed length, which might limit its appeal to some buyers who prefer more options. Number 5. Lowest ground clearance of all pickup trucks and general lack of off-roading capabilities. The Ridgeline is not a truck for off-road adventures. It has the lowest ground clearance of any truck on the market, with only 7.6 inches as of 2022. That means it can easily get stuck or damaged on rough terrain, especially if you have the running boards installed. Even the smaller Maverick and Santa Cruz have an inch more of clearance, making them more capable off-roaders. The Ridgeline is clearly designed for smooth roads, not rocky trails. However, Honda is aware of this weakness and is planning to introduce a new trail sport trim that will boost the Ridgeline's off-road performance. The trail sport will have a lifted suspension, larger all-terrain tires, protective plating, a multi-view camera system, roof rails, and recovery hooks. These features will help the Ridgeline tackle more challenging terrain and compete with its rivals that have their own off-road versions. The Trail Sport trim is already available for the Pilot, the Ridgeline's SUV cousin, where it adds an inch of ground clearance. If the same applies to the Ridgeline, it will finally match the clearance of its closest competitors, although they might still have an edge in other aspects of off-roading. Still, the current and previous Ridgeline models are not very off-road friendly, which shows that Honda did not anticipate the growing demand for off-road capability in pickup trucks. This is something that Ridgeline owners are not very happy about, to say the least. Number 4. Lack of certain upmarket features. The Ridgeline is a very comfortable truck that offers a car-like ride and a lot of standard features that make driving easier and safer. Honda has done a good job of equipping the Ridgeline with a generous list of convenience and safety gear that sets it apart from other trucks in its segment and beyond. However, the higher-end Ridgeline models, such as RTLE and Black Edition, are missing some features that should be expected at their price range. What's more puzzling is that these features are available in Canada, but not in the US. For example, Ventilated front seats and heated rear seats are not offered in the U.S. models, even though they would make driving more comfortable in hot or cold weather. Another example is rain-sensing wipers, which would make driving safer in wet conditions. Honda might decide to add these features in the future models, but it's surprising that they haven't done so already. Number 3. Subpar Infotainment System The Ridgeline's infotainment system is not very impressive either. 
It only has an 8-inch touchscreen display for all models, which is smaller than what some of its competitors offer at lower prices. The Ridgeline's infotainment system is also not very user-friendly or reliable, especially when it comes to navigation. You might find yourself using Google Maps instead, which is more accurate and updated than Honda's own system. Google Maps is also free to use, while Honda's maps require a subscription after three years of free updates. The Ridgeline's infotainment system has some improvements over the previous years, such as a physical volume knob and software updates, but they are not enough to make it enjoyable or satisfying. Many Ridgeline owners will tell you that they are unhappy with their infotainment system and wish it was better. Number two, a single powertrain with poor fuel economy. The Ridgeline only has one powertrain option, which is a 285 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 engine paired with a nine speed automatic transmission. This powertrain is simple and straightforward, but it also has some drawbacks. One of them is the fuel economy, which is not very good compared to other trucks that use turbocharged four-cylinder engines. The Ridgeline's best fuel economy ratings are 18 mpg in the city and 24 mpg on the highway, which are average for a mid-sized truck segment, but not very impressive for a unibody truck that should be more efficient. The Ridgeline's fuel economy also suffers from the standard all-wheel drive, which adds weight and drag to the vehicle. Some of its rivals, like the Maverick Hybrid, can achieve much better fuel economy ratings in the low 40s, while using standard two-wheel drive and turbo fours. Honda might want to consider offering a more fuel-efficient alternative for the Ridgeline in the future, but so far, there are no signs of that happening. Number 1. High Price The Ridgeline is a pricey truck. It starts from over $40,000 for the base sport model, which has standard all-wheel drive, but not much else. That's much more than most other trucks in its class, which usually start from around $30,000 or less. The Ridgeline's price is more reasonable for the higher-end models, which have some unique features that no other truck can offer, such as a truck bed power outlet, wireless charging pad, premium speakers, and truck bed audio. However, these models also miss some features that are available in Canada, such as ventilated front seats and heated rear seats. The Ridgeline is not a perfect truck. It has some flaws and drawbacks that might turn off some buyers but it also has some strengths and advantages that make it stand out from other trucks. It has a car-like ride and a host of versatile features that make it more fun and practical. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get notified for our next vehicle updates and upcoming videos. Thank you for watching Piston Pundit, your ultimate pit stop for everything related to vehicles. See you next time.